here we go. Hello, everybody. You got Garage Guy coming to you. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Well, early evening. It's about 6 o'clock. It's October 7th, 2017. A few weeks ago, I uploaded a video to YouTube about this firearm right here and a problem it's been having. The EAA Windicator Chambered in 357 Magnum. And it had been having an issue with the hammer locking back. You saw there I had to pull on it twice. Well, I have been just back and forth, cocking this hammer back and forth, back and forth. I've soaked it, saturated it in rim oil, and it seems to get be getting a lot better, but it still does it every once in a while. And I'd honestly like to think that it's a break-in issue. Uh, a gentleman here on YouTube uh, left in the comments section for me a link to another video of this same model firearm that was having the same problem. I want to say thank you for sending that, sir. But uh, right now, I just want to shoot a bunch of rounds. I got some Remington 130 grain, 38 special rounds here. It's good stuff. Put quite a few rounds here on a uh, some steel a steel target I got and see if we're making any progress with this lockup problem. Be right with you. Just shoot this steel silhouette target here. We'll see if we still have the issue with uh, the hammer locking up. Every shot will be single action. Locked up again. Locked up again. Try some dough. You know, uh, I locked up twice on that. Had to go to double action. Uh, let's fire a few more rounds, see what happens. Six more rounds. Let's see if the uh, single action will work. Nope. Don't want to work. That's a bummer. Try double action. Now it works. It works. It works. It works. Huh. Let's load her back up. Well, here we go. Rounds 13 to 18. Try single action. Don't want to work. Don't want to work. Now it works. Now it works. Now it works. Huh. It's hit or miss with this thing. Try six more rounds. Daggone it, you know, this is, I really like this firearm. Uh, fire six more rounds to it here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's try it again. It works that time. Okay, let's do this left-handed. Hmm, where are you at? Don't want to work. Well, 38 specials make that steel target dance, don't it? 
What do you say we head up to the garage here? Uh, I'm going to shoot a few more rounds and then I'll finish the rest of this video up at the garage. Up here at the garage, it's about uh, 11 o'clock, same night here. Just uh, after I got done shooting down there at my little shooting area, I went back up to the house, I fixed me a big bowl of spaghetti, and I watched my Virginia Tech Hokies defeat Boston College this evening, 23-10. to 10. It's a good game. Way to go, Hokies. Anyhow, this right here, I'm just bum-puzzled over this problem. Uh, when I did the first video about this problem a couple of weeks ago, a gentleman sent me a comment saying maybe that uh, something might be catching, you know, the cylinder on its shaft. Uh, this gun, it is empty. Well, it works. It don't work. It works. It works. Hmm. It works. Let's see. It's caught right there. Ah. spin this around it just I don't know I'm just bum puzzled here I'm going to send this back to EAA and have it worked on now uh, as far as their customer service I personally never dealt with the European American Armory and they got to be better than Taurus anyhow uh, I don't know what to tell you, the uh, gun shop I bought it at, Highland Arms in Abingdon, Virginia, I called them. Mr. Sanders, the man that runs the place, he's a very nice person. He said, Mark, just bring it in and we'll send it off for you. Because these are supposed to have a lifetime warranty according to him. So, you know, I'm going to leave it in uh, the hands of the people at my gun shop and let them take care of it. But I really love this wheel gun. Mmm. This just frustrates me. It's like having a girlfriend and she's got a bad habit and the more you get on to her about it, the more she does it. <laughs> you know, but I guess that's like most couples. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, uh, something's catching in here. That's all I know. I don't know if there's a burr in there or something or what, uh, if something's out of alignment or, you know, the timing's off. I don't think it's the timing. I really don't, but uh, I'm gonna send it off. This is Saturday night. Before I go into work Monday evening, I'm gonna make a trip down to Highland Arms and Say so here it is, fellas. We'll send this bad boy off and get it fixed. When I get it back, I'll do an update video on it, do some shooting, and plus I'll let you know how EAA's customer service is, you know. And uh, I've heard some people say it, it wasn't all that great, and I heard others say they didn't have a bit of problem with it, so it's still up in the air for me. After the experience I had with Taurus, oh jeez, and I've got that well documented here on YouTube. Ruger, on the other hand, was excellent. I've got that documented here on a video on YouTube. EAA Windicator, sweetheart, I'm going to miss you while you're gone, but we back soon, all right. Hmm. Thought I'd let you all know how this process is going. I still say this is a really good revolver. I get this little issue fixed. Hey, the sky's the limit, all right. Y'all take care. Have a nice night.